What's up traders? This is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today we have a very special guest, Harry Haas. He previously did the first bounce strategy. Well, he is gracing us today with a part two to that first part video. So let's get into it. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. What's up guys, uh, my name is Harry Haas and uh, today I'm just going to go over a second first bounce video so you guys can really master this setup. Uh, and I'm also going to review some member charts. Uh, I think that's really important in, uh, in a way that you guys can learn is also reviewing members charts. I think that can, that can help a lot. Uh, so first of all, in this video, I'm only going to be going over A plus setups, uh, A minus setups, so you guys can really know what to look for. I know in the last video, you guys might have found it confusing that um, I was going over some of my trades, and then you guys were kind of getting a little bit confused because uh, I I kind of mix things up a little bit. I don't necessarily uh, I don't I I I add like different variables in my trades, but I think that. Um, uh, after this video, you guys will be able to get this kind of cleared up. Um, so I'm hoping for no confusion, um, and I'm only showing A+. Uh, so another thing I wanted to talk about is everyone always messages me, oh my god, I'm under PDT, what am I going to do? I'm not going to be able to grow an account. Uh, if you only trade A+, setups uh, three times a week, I can guarantee you that you will be able to grow your account but the thing is is that you need to wait for those A plus setups and you need to be disciplined because if I don't see anything during the trading day I won't trade uh, but one thing I will do is that I will watch and I will I'll read the tape and I'll watch and sometimes if you know if it's an afternoon uh, I've kind of transitioned to long but I always love those late day fades and I love to watch them so you know if it's in the afternoon uh, four o'clock and there's not really much going on uh, sometimes I'll just crack a beer, watch the tape, and watch the level two, and just watch like a late day fade, or uh, you know maybe it's like an afternoon spike into after hours um, that I will be trading. But usually I only trade the morning session, and uh, you know if there's no A plus setups for me, then then that's not something that I'm looking for. Uh, so yeah, discipline. Um, uh, so this is an example of an A plus first bounce setup. So we see um, uh, this is one where you could use it on, like this is a common one I see a lot where, you know, we'll get a really big overextension, stock will come down, and we're able to make, you know, 30 cents off this quick little scalp using this niche as our, as our line. Uh, this would be one where, you know, it's kind of transitioning to backside, and these are, these are good ones that you can use, but it needs to be uh, looking like this. So when I'm looking in the line chart, I'm always looking for a little niche here, and I'm only looking for one niche. If there's if it's consolidating on the way up, it's not something that I like. I like uh, I like kind of like a one shot where I know that either it's going to work or it doesn't. I don't want a bunch of little niches on the way up. I want one right here. I want it to come back up and then slam back down into that niche and then buy into this uh, resistance or support area right here, and then I'll sell into these, uh, uh, kind of into this rip. And sometimes it'll keep going up. Uh, I just used an example of it going down, so you can realize that this is really kind of a quick scalping strategy, and it's something that you can use to grow your account, but you must be disciplined. Uh, this is my favorite. So this is something that I really like. Uh, it's similar to my JMU trade, or... Uh, no, sorry, it was my D-A-R-E trade, uh, D.A.R.E., um, where you have the uh, the front side, and it's a really nice overextended chart with just a little bit of a niche right here, and then it comes back down, and you're able to buy it right on this, this little niche. So once again, I don't like a lot of consolidation on the way up. I like something that's really, really nice, free-flowing all the way up, and it still kind of comes back up. And then it comes down, and we're able to kind of buy it on this little niche. Uh, this is like this is the best setup. If you guys can see setups like this, uh, take them because this is a plus. And I love just where you have this this nice free flowing chart all the way up. Like this is just beautiful for me. And uh, 
it's something that I love to size into into this niche because uh, the risk is 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 minimal, and I really I can count on this little niche to be there for me. And uh... hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley ninety in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.